IMPT is a brand new project that strives to use blockchain technology to make the world more sustainable. It is an excellent nominee for the greenest cryptocurrency of the year. After only five days of the presale, the project's native currency, the IMPT token, has already raised an incredible $2.1 million. One IMPT equals $0.018 in the first presale phase, and the network has already sold 109 million tokens. Welcome viewers to my channel. Please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. No. This is not financial advice. By acquiring carbon credits, the equivalent of offsetting one ton of carbon, individuals and businesses can lower their impact on the environment through IMPT. To address the problems currently confronting the sector, IMPT has decided to tokenize carbon credits. This will eliminate any issues with double spending tokens and greatly help the business openness. Several options exist for acquiring carbon credits. In any case, you can get them from the IMPT market. However, IMPT has partnered with over 10,000 brands to award users with IMPT tokens merely for purchasing, making it possible for anyone without access to a cryptocurrency exchange to get their hands on some. Carbon credits can be purchased and exchanged with these tokens. With IMPT, NFTs can be employed in a brand new context, as a form of carbon offset. Putting carbon credits on a blockchain makes them much harder to falsify than any other method. The public nature of the ledger makes it extremely difficult for carbon credits to be abused in any significant sense. It also ensures that they are constantly transparent, neither of which would be feasible without this system. IMPT Marketplace Carbon Credits can be purchased, sold, and retired in the IMPT Carbon Marketplace. To create a market for carbon credits, NFTs are created. When used in carbon markets, Blockchain technology eliminates the chance of double counting and fraud. An independent auditor checks all carbon credits on the IMPT platform to ensure they were generated per the global certification protocols. Carbon credit issuers and holders must complete a Know Your Customer KYC, process. Moreover, the carbon trading platform IMPT operates on three tiers. First tier tokens for the IMPT platform can be obtained by anyone at level 1 utilizing cryptocurrency or fiat currency. The user can save these IMPT tokens and then use them to purchase carbon credits. The blockchain-based NFTs will replace the carbon credits. Second-tier users can trade and sell their carbon credit tokens on the market. Only IMPT tokens can be used to pay for labor and products, and users can either consume their carbon credit tokens to lower their carbon footprint and see an effect immediately or hold on to the tokens as an investment. Third-tier users can trade valuable NFTs obtained by consuming carbon credit tokens in the third and final tier. The user who consumed the carbon credit tokens and the artist who designed the collectible NFT would each possess a unique masterpiece. Crypto and the environment something that makes a lot of people wary of cryptocurrency and blockchain technology in general, whether they are potential investors or simply people who might use one of the many crypto systems out there, is its environmental impact. Many cryptocurrencies use the proof-of-work POW, consensus mechanism to add blocks of data to their blockchains, and so mint new coins, and that mining uses a lot of electricity. POW involves people utilizing their computers to solve increasingly difficult mathematical equations, and that means that, as blockchains utilizing POW get older, the problems the computers have to solve will get harder, which means that they need to use more power, which can damage the environment. Data from the Cambridge Bitcoin Electricity Consumption Index says that Bitcoin, BTC, uses 104.2 terawatt long stretches of electricity a year, which means it consumes more electricity and, therefore, has a larger carbon footprint than the Holu of Pakistan. One way to attempt to reduce the impact of cryptocurrency on the environment is to use a blockchain that makes use of the proof-of-stake POS, consensus mechanism. This means that people who use a blockchain can get chosen to add blocks to the blockchain based on the amount of the blockchain's native token they hold. Ethereum, ETH, the world's second largest blockchain, recently completed its much heralded switch from POW to POS, dramatically reducing the amount of energy it used as a result. What is IMPT? There are, however, other ways of being greener inside the world of crypto and crypto investing. One such potential blockchain-based network is IMPT. This platform is designed to link in with carbon trading. In carbon trading, the carbon pumped out by fossil fuel-related emissions, which adds to global warming, is given a value. 
this means it very well may be traded between companies, individuals, and even countries. Thusly, this means that someone who purchases carbon, or if nothing else a carbon token which represents a certain amount of carbon, has, in effect, the option to consume it and release it into the Earth's atmosphere. The seller gives up that right. You can charge more for the token in the event that you can store carbon effectively and not release it into the atmosphere. Incidentally, when countries get involved in the carbon trade, it is usually industrialized nations, ones which pump out a lot of CO2, that are the buyers, and countries which have fewer carbon emissions that are the sellers. The carbon trade makes use of tokenization, the idea that on the off chance that something that can be traded, pretty much anything that can be traded.